Hey YouTube Nation, what's up? Hey, I'm gonna go to the range, take the SIG 522. We're gonna do a 25 yard accuracy test, 50 yard and 100 yards. I took the Vortex uh, 1x4 off. I put the uh, 6x18 Redfield to see if we can drain the best possible accuracy out of this SIG 522. Uh, I'll talk to you guys when I get back from the range. Okay, we got the SIG 522 at 25 yards. I'm going to hold that 6 o'clock on that bullseye. Okay, we got the SIG 522 at 50 yards. Uh, we're going to take the camera and set it up by the uh, target so you can see the hits. Let's see what the SIG 522 can do. Okay, we got to save 522 at 100 yards. We're going to take the camera down, set it up so we can see the hits. Okay, there you go, YouTube Nation. This SIG 522 is a pretty neat little gun. Uh, originally, in my pre, one of my prelim videos, I was comparing it to the Breda ARX 160. And I think at the time, I said the build quality was a little bit better compared to the ARX. I'll stand by that. Uh, but I'll tell you what, after shooting both these guns, the 522 and the ARX extensively, I'm actually leaning... Uh, towards the ARX as my favorite 22 rifle here. Uh, I shoot it 
a hell of a lot more accurate than a SIG 522. And I think it's because of the trigger. This, I hate long triggers on any gun, whether they're pistols or rifles. And I don't think this trigger's bad by no means, but it's not conducive. If you want to shoot some bug holes with that long drawn trigger in this gun, it's not conducive to shooting uh, bug holes at 100 yards or any yards as far as that goes. So I think I struggle with this gun compared to the ARX just basically because of the trigger. Because I think the barrels are probably identical. I know the Beretta is 18 inches, this is 16 inches, the SIG. But uh, Walter Umarex makes both these guns and I imagine they're probably the same damn barrel. But <clears throat> when you're shooting 22s and I'm shooting subsonic match ammo on these things traveling around 1060 feet per second, any movement in this gun trying to shoot bug holes is going to be picked up before that bullet even gets out of the chamber. So you gotta really, really be able to hold these guns the same way between shots. And I tend to struggle with this gun compared to the Beretta. Uh, that being said, it's still a hell of a fun 22 to shoot just like the Beretta is. But as far as accuracy goes, guys, I'm gonna give it uh, to the Beretta ARX. Now I would think that most of the people authors are gonna shoot the Beretta better uh, simply because of the triggers. Other than that, I love both these guns, but uh, I'm going to give the edge to the Beretta ARX, and uh, I'm going to shock you with something I'm going to show you here. Okay, guys, after shooting both the SIG and the ARX 22, I like the Beretta so much more than the SIG 522 that I went and bought another Beretta. Uh, the SIG is going to go to the highest bidder. Uh, I like to shoot like 7 yard, 15 yard drills. And the, this thing's so lightweight, this Beretta, that I threw my Trigicon uh, RMO6 on it. And with this RMO6, which weighs only a few ounces, uh, I have a blast shooting. I put up like six paper plates at 7 yards and see how quick you can take them out. I'm actually going to do a video on that uh, for guys that might want to think of a lightweight setup if they purchase one of these uh, Berettas. Uh, the other neat thing about this is the way I have it set up, I have a low mount RMO6 mount on here. And if you flip up the sights on the Beretta, <clears throat> the sights actually clear the top of the RMO6 so you can still shoot the open sights along with the RMO6. It worked out pretty damn slick as far as I'm concerned and it might be one setup you guys might want to consider out there. Well anyway the shootout ends between the Beretta and the uh, SIG because uh, I favor the Beretta. And hey guys I'm not saying that the SIG 522 is a bad gun. I think it's a neat little gun but I just shoot the Beretta is so much better that I'm going to go with two Berettas rather than a SIG and a Beretta. I'm going to be doing more videos. Until then, I'm out for now.